Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And we're back. Back. Mailbag. Mailbag. Last time, oh wait, we didn't, we didn't change the colors. Everything off the table. Dear Blind Wave, how is everyone doing? We're getting closer to WaveCon. We are. Yes, we are. We're getting real close. You should have like, what? When this like comes two out, like weeks. two, maybe three weeks before WaveCon. So if you want to come, get your tickets now. Do that. I'm uh, I'm writing this. There is only 50 days to go. I'm very excited since we are so close to WaveCon. This will be my last mailbag for a little while. So mm. I can save up and get myself ready. Yes. Can't wait to meet everyone. See you soon in August from Kristen. Kristen! Kristen. Huzzah! This Pony is a cool card, Kristen. too. Yeah, if only the focus was on it. Yeah. Hang on. See? Good job, okay. Aaron. Focus fixed. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm just standing there like... <laughs> There's three layers to this cat. A three-layered cat? Mm -hmm. It's almost as good as a bean burrito. Almost as good as an ogre. Those are seven layers. I don't know about ogres. You don't think I know that? I thought it was beefy five-layer burrito. There's a seven-layer burrito. Is there? There's also, is it there might good? be a five-layer burrito, too. Well, I know there is a taco. Oh, well, apparently the person to ask is, Eric, is it yeah. five or seven-layer burrito? Uh, it's both, and you can put two of them together and make ten or fourteen layers. What about twelve? I wonder what the upper limit is. Yeah. I want to get twelve-layer that's, burrito. That's more complicated, but it's more fun. But which way is the twelve? Is it five plus seven or seven plus five? It's whatever way you want. Like Burger King. Have it your way. Any way you want it, that's the we way you want it. The consequences of my actions! <laughs> Can you make a lasagna burrito? Ooh, yeah, I bet. Yeah. So you take seven layer burritos. Mm -hmm. The consequences of your actions. I Not just, being able to read. I just wanted to hit you with something. There you right. go. You can take that now. <laughs> no package for you. It's you from, get letter. It's from, as if letters are any less good than packages. You'll have to read. It's yeah, always, something that you can't do. I'm, I'm happy. The challenge. I'm happy to read to you, Aaron. Anytime. I've, I've thrown out many, many letters because I don't want to do that. <laughs> thrown out. <laughs> right in the shredder. I'm sorry for all the letters that have been gone missing. It's all Aaron. Yeah, it's there's, not the post office. There's a, there's a good chance. There's at least one, <laughs> five people that are like, son of a bitch. <laughs> she did it. I never got my letter. I never read. Six months later, we'll get it. <laughs> it's been at the post office. It's from Isaac. Uh, hey, Blind Wave, I've been procrastinating sending this for a while. Mm. You were on Community Season 2 when I started this Google Doc. Oh, Boom. wow. Yeah, you had <laughs> procrastinated. Also. This last year, I've been dealing with long-haul COVID, mm -hmm. which for me just means extreme fatigue. I'm sorry, that really sucks. Uh, I've been stuck at home and missed out on experiences I'll never get back. Um, having your videos to look forward to has brightened me uh, my day every day. I love watching your community. It's always sunny and invincible reactions. Also, I'd like to thank Rick for your autistic meltdown video. It helped me learn more about my autism. Mm -hmm. And below I've listed some Easter eggs and questions. Mm. Uh, if, uh, if I'm taking up too much time, you can skip it. I wouldn't be offended at all. Thanks for everything, Isaac. Um, the first one, the term Streets Ahead was coined when a Twitter user attempted to insult Harmon. Uh, the user said, both Modern Family and Glee are streets ahead of your meta bullshit. <laughs> okay. So cool. they, Dan Harmon apparently used that in That's awesome. the later That's show really cool. to say, hey, I, I saw your comment and fuck you. <laughs> I don't know that I'm going to, my hill to die on or is going to be that Glee is better than Community. Like Glee is fun as well, but I don't know that it's better than anything sure. specifically. They're, they're just different thing. shows. I wouldn't waste my time comparing them. Well, then, Eric, you just don't know how to live. Um, I do. Oh, this is interesting. <laughs> something I did not it's think this about way. catch up on. <laughs> um, the episode with the faulty condoms is about nine months before Abed helps give birth in the background. Ooh. Remember the one? About. The, yeah, well, yeah, the chastity party thing? Yeah, they had the whole uh, thing in the background. Mm -hmm. um, Troy pretends to lock his blanket fort room with a metal key in the Batman DVD episode. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I caught that or not. Huh. Is it as an Easter? It's just the idea that he's just, just trying a, to lock yeah. it. Yeah, it's just a silly thing. Uh, in the sunny episode, the gang solves the gas crisis. 
They spent so much money on the Ghostbusters theme that they couldn't afford the right towel for Dee's waterboarding scene. <laughs> so Caitlin Olsen was actually being waterboarded there. <laughs> that is so much funnier. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck, that's terrible. We'll get to it when, when we watch bloopers, but yeah... I sometimes think, I mean, I, I do this with Lord of the Rings. Like, sometimes the behind the scenes is better. <laughs> sometimes it's better, yeah. Uh, on your Everything Everywhere All at Once reaction, uh-huh. a couple of you said it was one of your favorite movies, and the others said to give it time. Mm-hmm. Uh, now that there's been a significant amount of time, is it still one of your favorites? Um, I think for the complexity and the action mm-hmm. and the comedy and the drama and just the the whole feeling of the movie and how well-rounded it was. It's still one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've rewatched it once since then. Uh, I enjoyed it as much the second time. But I still get so much delight out of just the concept of the fight scene of getting Mm -hmm. that dildo in that guy's butt. Like, his intention to do it. Yeah, it's a a butt plug. Yeah, I understand. But... Uh, I just I love the targeting (laughs) in that (laughs) so much. Yeah. I've never seen a fight like that. Sure. No. It's creative. It's long. Yeah, so it I is. I haven't rewatched it. Oh, okay, but I gotcha. It's still like it's fun. I've rewatched at least some fight yeah. stuff. I've definitely rewatched some fights several times. It's not one of my favorites. No, sadly. Hmm. Uh, I got a couple movie recommendations for you. Blackberry is a biographical comedy drama about the phone company starring Glenn Howerton. Uh, okay. Howard Turn, sorry. I've heard of this. Uh, doing some of the best acting he's ever done. Really? Also, That's Dennis, by the way. You know, from It's Always Sunny. Glenn. Gotcha. Yeah. I thought I recognized mm-hmm. that one. Um, also, there's Swiss Army Man, uh, made from the people who made everything everywhere all at once. That's okay. Swiss, mm. Swiss Army, Army Man. That sounds intriguing. I don't know. I, sh- I know what a Swiss Army knife does. You do? Imagine what a Swiss Army Man can a do. A man, yeah. I think I do know what it is. Isn't that the one that is? Um, Dude, where do the knives come out? Calvin, how would I know? Shoot. Edward says her hands. If you're right, we're wrong. I won't go no, to it's, I guess um, that's true. I was thinking of like appendages that could swap out for other things. Inspector Gadget style. What's yeah. his name? But like it could be arms, Harry legs. Potter. What's his name? Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe. I think man. it's Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> I don't know. Daniel Radcliffe. What about? It? I think Daniel Radcliffe is is in that movie. Is, is Swiss Army Swiss Army Man? I want to watch Guns Akimbo. But thank you very much, Isaac. Thank you, Isaac. Very, very interesting. Easter eggs and questions eggs are always welcome. Questions, mm. yes. Unless they're spoilers. In which case they're not, but they eventually will be. Yeah. It's a very strange... It's an invasion. Very strange thing. Ooh. Okay. Flexes me greatly. As this is a box. That could be a problem. That was a Zelda enemy. You know where to aim. Wait, that one's not Good actually pose. Hate. I think I have an opening. Yeah. Fool, it's all taped. Uh oh. There's stuff in there. Oh, it's a log. Praise the log. Oh, it's a steak. Praise the log. What kind of steak is it? it Rick. Turn it over. Is it yeah. rosewood? It's Rick steak. Rick steak. A Rick steak? It looks like you stab it in the ground to mark, like, here's my home. So I don't this, forget. Is this for me? Like, yes. It's or for is this you. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, do, <laughs> yeah. Do I see <laughs> people or am Take I to be a bullet with your name on it. <laughs> Rick, as far as I know, you are the first and only watcher of Buffy and Angel. So you deserve some big hard wood. Mm. For self defense, of course. Gotcha. High Queen Chelsea. 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 Thank you. Yeah, I've seen Buffy, Angel, and uh, What We Do in the Shadows. I haven't seen any of those. It's, another it's not the same. Except for the Continuity. What We Do in the Shadows. I've seen Twilight. Right? I I've watched seen, Blade. I've seen Twilight. I've seen Blade. <laughs> I've seen. I've seen Vampire's uh, Kiss. Interview with a Vampire. Vampire's Kiss. I haven't seen any of those. Uh, Dead and Loving It. Hellsing. Uh, Dracula 2000. Once Bitten, Twice Shy. Um, Lost Boys. Lost Boys. Bordello of Blood. Tells the crib. Blood. True Blood. It's True Blood. Blood. I have seen True Blood. Yeah. Uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula. <laughs> Bram Stoker's. Van Helsing. Helsing. Van Helsing. Shadow yeah. of a Vampire. Helsing. Eric, that's the third time you said it. If it's that good. Can you name Stop. something new? <laughs> Judas Iscariot and, and, and Alucard. And it's so good. I love that one. The Hammer Dracula. 
Christmas trying to be Christopher included. Lee. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's very cool, though. We want to know that that blockbuster game. Mm. I, where the category is yeah. vampire movies, and you just keep going until someone can't name a vampire like a movie. There's a lot of vampire movies. Queen of the Damned. I am very curious to see what kind of wood that is. It might be yeah, rosewood. I can't. I Maggie could recognize I it. I can't recognize it. She's like. Well, um, I don't think it's a tree wood. It's she's just like Owl from Home Improvement. Mm-hmm. Who does that? Yeah. Mahogany. I don't think it's mahogany. Eric, Rick, Calvin, and Aaron. Usually you get different kind of steaks in the mail, like Omaha. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Or a sweep steak. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you win. Come to our dealership and bring your ID to claim your prize today. Yep, and the checkbook. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this part so smart? No purchase necessary. I think I've seen a couple episodes of Buffy, but I can't tell you really what happened in them. Mm-hmm. It's been it's one of those things where like, it was just on. So Too long ago. On. It's like my dad used to watch Charmed. I've seen episodes of Charmed, but I can't tell you any of them. Now, Buffy and Angel are, like, connected, right? Yeah, Angel yeah. was in Buffy. Yep. Yeah. I saw that the show. normies were reacting to both at the same time. It's like a... It's like Torchwood and Doctor Who. It's like Maybe a Frasier to Cheers. Mm. Okay, gotcha. I like mine. No one watches Cheers. Everyone watches Cheers and Frasier. I never watched I'm Cheers. I'm not ranking Frasier. your examples. I, You've never seen Frasier? I didn't watch Cheers. Cheers. Like, when they brought him back, like, they have, like, a new season of yeah. Frasier, and I was like, cool. Frasier's quite good. All right, let's I see what we got. But I've seen all the Frasier. Uh, oh, sure. yeah. Ruin that review. Ah, nice. I thought they needed to save up. Well, this is the this last is, mailbag. I was going to say. Uh, yes. So but next mailbag. Canvas. That's cool. will be a little light. That's cool. very cool. Look at that. We should take a picture like that. Should. We have some of us like ah, this for our... Uh, kind of did for Promised Neverland. Yeah, Promised Neverland shoot. Take a piece of paper. <laughs> or, make a, or make a calendar. Yeah, calendar would be good. Then they would know what day we are. Do people buy calendars still? Yeah. Uh, we have I one. I have calendars. Do you use one? Uh, in the house, they, we have them there. Yoo yoo hakusho. It's good for teaching kids. Mm. Cool. That looks really nice, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It has a good quality to it. Thank you. Stripey by doing that. Don't make it stripey, Calvin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. What is this unicorn box? What does it say on the front? Smack. Ow, damn it. Walked right into that one. Weird. Play Smack Nap. Oh, that's a unicorn horn. At first, mm-hmm. I thought we were drilling to the heavens. I, mean, I guess we could. It's possible. I probably won't leave any marks. I'm a little horny. <laughs> My horn will pierce the sky. Just this, superimpose. Will this one leave a mark? Wearing the dildo. No. no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> Smack some unicorns with us. Not quite a Clone Wars Easter egg, but hopefully a lot of fun. Hi, Aaron. Calvin. Hi, Rick. Hi, Eric. Over the last 20 years, we had been playing our own card game with a modified Uno deck. Cool. Adding rules and making modifications with each game night. Hmm. Sometimes cool. with up to 15 friends. Two years ago, we decided to create our own deck, add some unicorns, dice, horns, a very talented graphic artist, and Smack was born. Smack. Smack is an action packed card game with cute unicorns, powerful weapons, and epic dice battles. It's especially fun to play with groups of friends or family, and it's available in a bloody or kid friendly edition. We are launching this game on Kickstarter on July 11th. Mm. We love your channel, and we couldn't think of anyone better than you guys in trying out our prototypes. Here is one of 20 exclusive prototypes, What? and we hope you are having as much fun playing the game as Eric when he discovers a Clone Wars Easter egg in a Star Wars episode. I do have a lot of fun with that. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions, and thank you for your channel. Keep up the good, uh, the good work. Best, Charlie and Mark. Cool. All right. Cool. So Mark we have Charlie. Smack proto- Prototype. Prototype is created for game testing and game review purposes only. <laughs> Calvin, no! It'll get everywhere! It was, oh, it's so pretty, though. It is so pretty. All right, get it everywhere. A hyper-paced, action-packed card <laughs> game smacking away unicorns with dice. Okay. So we do have... 
I like the idea that they exchange bloody smack cards for these kid friendly ones. I love the idea that they pick an Uno deck and then just slowly change it to a new yeah. game. <laughs> well, it does have kind of like a Uno I see look it. Yeah. with some of that, mm -hmm. right? Uh -huh. Here's their dice, which look like it's nothing or a unicorn head. One out of six. Okay. They all appear to be one out of six. And these all look to be similar in the way that those work. So let's just see how the game plays. We don't have to play it right now, but I'm curious on the style. Um, one minute rules. Object of the game. First player to play all their cards wins the round. Each player gets seven cards and a smack die. The rest of the cards form a draw pile. Uh, the dealer turns over the top card of the draw pile and they start a discard pile. The player to the left starts first. On your turn, play a, comb play a card onto the discard pile that matches the color or play a different card that matches the icon and the amount of icons. Or play a rainbow unicorn card or draw a card from the pile in the middle. So very uno -y, right? Yeah. <clears throat> unicorn cards. Play unicorn cards to slow down your opponent. Some unicorn corn cards may be stacked to increase the drawing penalty, such as a plus two card on top of a plus two card on the discard pile. So if you get a plus two instead of you drawing, you can play another plus two and the next person draws four. Damn. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, smack cards. Play a smack card to defend against unicorn cards. A smack card either cancels a unicorn's card effect or triggers a smack dice battle. Make sure to shout smack when playing the smack card. Ow. If you forget, you must draw two cards. Smack dice battle. If you smack away a unicorn card with a drawing penalty, all other players must roll their smack die until it shows the smack symbol facing up. The last person to roll this symbol loses and collects the penalty instead. Hmm. So you can be like, I don't want those plus four cards. And then you three all roll. And the last person to get the unicorn head, I think, draws those cards. So it is very Uno-y, but just a little different. If you have an identical card to the card on the discard pile matching in color and icon or unicorn, you can play it even if it's not your turn. The play continues to the player next to you. So if you have like, if you have this exact card, you can just play it out of turn. Awesome. So, I love to cool. do things That's out of turn. One minute fast. There's other versions too that they have. Okay. Before. That seems interesting. That sounds fun. You have to smack each other. I don't know where the bloody parts are. What? I didn't say smack. You said smack. <laughs> Guinea's dice. <laughs> <laughs> well, almost got that in the box. Almost. Yep, but it doesn't count in this game, Eric. Only uh, horseshoes and hand grenades. All right. Well, uh, following their example, <laughs> say following their example, I can just change the rule and make it part of the game. So this doesn't go with the game at all. They just it came with yeah. a unicorn. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thing. I'll have to try this out and see what my thoughts are on it. Okay. Sounds like coolness. Mm. Should wear that during Spider-Man. It'll be a rhino. Mm. Just, you know, a pretty one. This packing material is very cool. Mm. A pretty rhino. Well, thank you, Smack Team. Yeah. Uh, we'll guy. try to check this out at some point and uh, give my thoughts on it when I get a chance to play it. I do have... Sounds like one that my that? kids would also like. Do your kids would enjoy it? Your kids yeah. Enjoy yeah. It, probably. Very cool. 120, though. Thank you. So yeah. nice. That's pretty special. I didn't say it. Say what? The title of that game. No, we just wanted to do it. <laughs> I, didn't, I wasn't doing it for that. <sighs> it's a book! Star Wars Padawan. Ooh. Padawan. Padawan. Pada Obi Wan. Yes, in white. Yes, in white. Really apprentice to his master, Qui Gon Jet. But wondering if the pairing was a mistake. Yeah. No one said being a Padawan would be easy, but should it be this hard? Man, sounds cool. Vaguely sexual. Obi Wan is pretty uh, rebellious. No, oh, yeah. So is it fun because they pair them with Qui Gon, who is equally rebellious, and then force Obi Wan to rebel against rebellion. It's <laughs> <laughs> <That is> amazing. <laughs> he becomes order itself. He becomes more of like I must follow the rules because it's he's the smartest thing that Jedi Council ever did. <laughs> so it's, it, it, it'd be interesting to see how it is in the earlier days of that. Hmm. Hi, Blind Wave. Obi Wan, bisexual icon confirmed. Love this book. Anytime we get to spend with Padawan Kenobi is a time I treasure well. Hope you enjoy it. From Josh Williams. Thank, Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Josh. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, 
I saw something. I can't find it now. It's the title. Title the chapter. Something. Oh no! I, th- I thought it was a torn out page. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh no! But it's just it's just a page break. Yeah, for it's just a page break. <laughs> Epilogue. Yeah, very cool. I'm sure. Post log. <clears throat> Pokemon. Pre log. You're right. Thank you. What? Josh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the odor a book gets the better it smells. Does it? Mm-hmm. Sometimes. Depends where it's kept. I suppose so, yeah. In a dark, dank basement? Yeah. Smoky's house? Isn't that where they, they, they keep the good memes? <sighs> you, you, Haka Show. Bad memes. Oh. What is this? Yeah, it's like a tray. It's like a... I guess, Giant yeah. ashtray. Not an ashtray. I think it's like a you put like your wallet and your keys and stuff in it. Oh. I think is what it is. Okay. Or you can be really annoying during D and D and use that for your dice. Oh. Take those stickers. Get <laughs> those dice back. Or maybe not. <laughs> Pull the dice in there. I thought it was where you break up your herbs. This might be from Josiah, <laughs> but it's probably more likely from Christian. Parsley, right? Any herbs. Rosemary, thyme, whatever. There's all kinds of herbs. Yes. See, that's not annoying. Ooh. Ooh. But if you get a D20 that rolls oh, for a minute. Yeah. Finally, one. Got one. That works. Okay. Hang hang on. Aaron. <laughs> hey, Calvin. This doesn't necessarily mean Calvin, this <laughs> that is, this is for spices. <laughs> but Calvin, this is for grinding up your rosemary and thyme. <laughs> yeah, rosemary and thyme. Yeah, that's for the it's uh, so satisfying. small pieces of rosemary and thyme. Yeah. It is so oh. satisfying to grind rosemary and thyme. Oh, it even comes with a pick, too. I love it. Yeah, well, the bottom one should probably also. No, oh, yeah. I've been told. Oh, damn. The bottom you is... grind it. I've been told the bottom is also, yeah. Ooh, wow, look at that. Oh, you, you keep the bud in here, and then you grind it fresh. Mm. Yeah, again, you can do it. I've, I've done it both ways. Do you grind it first? I've, I've many... Herbs have been grinded or not grinded. It works either way. Hmm. Some it depends on how dry it is too. I was gonna say I, I figured that was like the the main thing. Like if you grind it up, then it loses some of the. We're from Ohio, moisture. and even though it's legal, we still get uncomfortable sometimes. <laughs> like the top of magnetic. Yeah, it's <laughs> actually, it's really nice. Only ground actual rosemary and thyme. Spiritual death battle. That sounds cool. Each time Press for start. a spiritual death though. It's a really nice grinder though. It it genuinely is. It's really smooth. It's well machined. Mm-hmm. It looks nice and sharp. Better than my Death Star one because it gets stuck a lot. No, this one got a lot of room. Mm-hmm. Like that one's pretty good, but it just like does it, it get just, like packed into one spot and then just bound up? Or? It just it's because of the shape of it. It's just not very big area. So like putting mm-hmm. in too much, like you're putting like very little. Gotcha. <clears throat> this is cool. Yeah, this is great. Spiced anime. Very, very cool. Spicy. Spicy. Calvin. Yes. You can put your wallet and keys in there, though. You can. <laughs> totally can. <laughs> and your dice. I love it. Like, wait. Wait. <laughs> I was like, hang on, Aaron. Hang on. <laughs> it's not for sure. I love the uh, the art on the top of that. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Awesome. I was Thank you. part rosemary just the other day. I was making steak. Like, yeah. Like rosemary, garlic, and Actual butter. rosemary. Yeah. 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 We have a little herb garden that we have rosemary and thyme in now. The bugs are. What about parsley too. and sage? They're going to get lonely. Uh, we don't have sage. We have parsley. And. You left sage out there all alone? I did. I'm sorry. Poor sage. All right. There's something in here. Ooh, stickers. Stickers. <gasps> I think it's Taylor Swift stickers. Yes. What? Dear Blind Wave, hello, Aaron, Eric, Rick, and Calvin. I hope this letter finds you all well. My name is Peyton, and I am from Mansfield, Texas. And we have a Mansfield, Ohio, where my sister in law is true. Uh, I have subscribed to your YouTube channel for a couple years now. I found you guys through the first reactions to Star Wars Rebels back in 2016. Star Wars Rebels is one of my favorite shows and my first introduction to Star Wars ever. Ever. That's so cool. I love that 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 franchise can have so many, like, end points. Uh, It was really nice to see adults react to and enjoy what is considered a kid's show back then, but after Star Wars Rebels ended, I kind of stopped watching for a little while. Mm. However, I fully started following you guys after I saw your reactions to The Mandalorian and the many Marvel and Star Wars TV shows on Disney+. 
I have many favorite reactions from your channels. My favorite reaction of yours being Gravity Falls, mm. Bridgerton, mm. Ruby, mm. House of the Dragon, What If, and Taylor Swift, most recently, The Lover Album Listen. Mm. I will never forget how funny it was to watch Eric and Rick react to WAP by Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion. That was so fun. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are looking for more things to watch, I would love to see you start reacting to indie animated shows like Has Been Hotel, Murder Drones, Lackadaisy, and The Amazing Digital Circus. Has Been Hotel, I had been on a poll. It has been, yeah. Mm -hmm. Has been. I think you would find that fun. Thank you for introducing me to my love of Star Wars and... May all of you continue to react to shows and movies we all know and love. P.S. Enjoy the Swifty stickers I sent you. Winky face. These Aww. are cool. Thank, Thank you. you so much. A lot of great lyric quotes and stuff mm -hmm. in here. Uh, I want to say your name, but you didn't put it on your letter, and I don't want to just read it off your address, so I will not. Okay. <laughs> Macaroni and a pot. So, but thank you so much. And it's so cool to, to hear about someone that started with Star Wars with Rebels. I like that. Yeah. It's a different location than what I'm used to most people starting yeah. at, which is cool. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that experience is like, watching that as, like, that's your first foray into Star yeah. Wars, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, I feel like you get a lot of it, but I feel like you might not, too. You might get something that we don't even understand. Sure. You know? Thank cool. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. These stickers will be used, trust me. Yes. <laughs> I have a whole Taylor Swift crossword puzzle on my desk. <laughs> yeah, it's Eric's size. It's literally like four feet high. It's so huge. It's quite large. These has uh, one of these. That's a book, Aaron. Labyrinth of Evil. Whoa, Labyrinth of Evil. I've never I heard. remember that. I've yeah, never... James Lucino. <laughs> i never heard of that movie. Yeah. Hmm. That's uh, around Revenge of the Sith times. Inquisitor Rise of the Red Blade. Oh, oh that, okay, that's that's canon, that's Legends. Oh, it, it even has Legends branding on it, too. Cool. Best-selling author. Looks pretty cool. Eric, look. Inquisitor's Saber! It is, but I like when it's used like that. I don't. I should say I don't hate it. I prefer when they, like, fold it up and just sure. on one side. I think it's pretty cool. Well, it's, yeah, it's actually more like a yeah. saber. Well, Eric, just don't but I've heard a lot of people really liking this book. Just don't hate it. Okay. When the Jedi Order falls, an Inquisitor rises. Blind Wave. This is one of the best books from Legends. Pairs extremely yes. well with Stover's uh, Revenge, of, Revenge of, the of the Sith novel and offers one of the best depictions of Grievous ever. Yeah. What's a personal favorite Star Wars book for you? From um, Josh Williams. Oh, man. Uh, if we're going, like, Legends, I'll go Legends and Canon. Uh, Aaron, you can speak on canon, at least on some stuff that you've had so far. Mm -hmm. um, I've always really loved the Darth Plagueis novel. I really liked uh, the Mace Windu novel, Shatterpoint. Mm. I personally loved I, Jedi, uh, which was a story about Coran Horn, who was a Jedi from Luke's Jedi Academy. And it was kind of a peripheral novel based on another novel that I really liked. Like, here's, like, the main thing, and then here's Corrin's Horn's adventures while this was happening. But I've sure. always liked Corrin's thing. Um, mm. I like the Revan novel. Revan novel. It took place uh, between KOTOR and SWTOR. Yeah. It was pretty interesting. And then it had a lot of ties into SWTOR, too, of, like, different character sure. things. The Darth Bane uh, trilogy was always <laughs> special. A lot of dark side books, I guess. <laughs> mm. The only Star Wars books I read were the Jedi Apprentice books. Yeah, I enjoyed them as a those kid. Those were good. Read yeah. some of those. I liked I Brotherhood a lot. Yeah. Brotherhood was a lot of fun. Brotherhood, yeah, that one was good. Yeah, it felt like the first Clone Wars story. Yeah, I mean, mm. sort of this one, like. Aaron, is sure. pretty Brotherhood coded. Mm. Like on the planet Nemodia, Jedi Knights Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker set out to capture a treacherous ally of the Sith. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this one's a good one. Blind Wave, here's a particularly interesting dive into the mechanics of the Inquisitors mm. and their general function and even formation. Pair it like well it with the Jedi Survivor novel. Uh, Jedi Survivor novel. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Josh Williams. Thank you, Josh. Super cool. We'll add these to our library. Rise of the Red Blade. I love that title. Thank you, Josh. Mm. Ow! You live. Zip strip. Zip strip. Oh, I hurt my elbow. Oh, oh Calvin, no. 
years and years. Finally, that tearing sound wasn't just the, the consequences envelope. to your actions, Cal. <laughs> Shut up, Eric. <laughs> Wouldn't it be crazy if, like, the singer from Disturbed, like, who's ruining his voice because acid keeps coming up, but he refuses to not sing that way? Calvin refuses not to zip strip, but he hurts himself in the process. Interesting. <laughs> Neat. What? Monarch? Monarch. Monarch? Well, what is Legacy it? Legacy of Monsters. It looks like a... a Comic book? Kinda, yeah. Poster or book? Production book? Read it's the a letter. production book, yeah. Maybe it's a... Maybe it says something like a, useful on it's here. It's got, like, a playbill. Kind of, yeah. Uh, hello, crew of Blind Wave. Mr. Courier here. Oh. Today's gift is for your consideration booklet for Monarch Legacy of Monsters. Okay. Uh, given your love of the show oh, and the world as a whole. Uh, yeah, sorry. For your consideration was a capitalized. Mm. Da, da, da. Um, like a Oscar marketing type of thing, right? Sure. Or, I guess at this in these. Looks to be outstanding drama series, yeah. lead actor, lead actress. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, given your love of the show and the world as a whole, I figured this was a perfect gift for you. I hope you don't mind making uh, a quick opinion rundown of the actors and categories the production wants to be nominated, which are listed on the back. Uh, now that some time has passed since your season one reaction, in case you forgot who any of the actors were, uh, they all have their own individual profiles inside, except for John Goodman. Uh, and... Finally, Eric, to answer your question about missing Doctor Who episodes, mm -hmm. only the first and second Doctor era have missing episodes. Mm. Third and beyond are complete. Okay. That's all for now. Thank you for your time and all that you do. Mr. Courier, 6 2024. Thank you, Mr. Courier. Thank you gotcha. so much. This is really cool. I've never actually seen one of these before. This is really cool. I never have. I've heard about them. It's such a high quality print. Yeah. It's like full color. Edge to edge. Yeah. Printing. So, uh, outstanding guest actor John Goodman. I mean, I definitely, he was in it. I don't, was he, I don't know. Was he outstanding? I had to look at all the other outstanding for your considerations. Yeah. But as much as I was like, oh, John Goodman, you know, like if it was another actor, would I have felt the same way? Sure. Maybe. I don't okay. Know. I feel like he wasn't in it yeah. all that much. Sure. I get you. Uh, outstanding lead actor Kurt Russell. That was pretty outstanding. It was pretty outstanding. <laughs> And it's crazy that outstanding supporting actor is Wyatt Russell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Considering what they're doing in that show. Um, outstanding lead actress, Anna Sawai. I don't know if I'm saying her name correctly. Um, they had two outstanding supporting actors. Uh, Anders Holm as Joe uh, Tippett. So Anders uh, and John also playing the same character, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, two outstanding supporting actresses, Kersey Clemens and Mari... Uh, Yamamoto. But yeah, I mean, I mean, you guys know me when I'm going to say, like, I, I don't like to say, like, this one's better than this one, you know? But I'd have to see the, the grouping of people to be able to, like, try to be fair when if I think that they're they're deserving of the win or not, or, or whatever. I sure. sure. And I don't know what all awards this won. Sure. Don't get me wrong. I love this, but... If every Emmy went to X Men '97, I would be like, "That makes sense." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, what am I putting this up against? Sure. Would be a determining factor. Like, if I was gonna rank, like, what's my favorite food? But yeah. if it was like, what's your favorite food that you had today? Did Marvel come out this year or last year? Or in the last month? This sh earlier this, this year. year. It was the beginning year, of the year, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. January. But I mean, if any of those people won those categories, I wouldn't be like, "What? They weren't that good," you know? Sure. I guess. Just the John Goodman one was the one I would be like. I mean, he was in it. I just don't remember an outstanding performance. Sure. No, the like he was in No Brother Warth though when he plays the, the Cyclops. <laughs> He's amazing in that. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Do you want to look at it? No. The one I Bible salesman. I've never seen it. I guess. Oh, you never seen it? At least not. I've I've seen like. Yeah. They were like either on a train or train tracks, and uh -huh. then they also like were singing. Sure. And I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my brother Warth that was pretty much just a, a southern modern, or modern, modern, but a, a southern retelling of Odysseus, the story, Odyssey, the Odyssey, and John Goodman is the Cyclops in it. But he's just, <laughs> he's a clan member, and he doesn't have one of his. It's only one hole. <laughs> I love that so much. That's so yeah, dumb. It's dumb. I've it's funny. Never seen that. Yeah. Oh, that's a great. But movie, I know, like man. the. It's quite I good. am a man. 
That movie has. I did not open it. I think it has one of the best lip syncing performances I've ever seen because George Clooney looks like he's singing that song. Oh. Oh, oh, it's Wrecker's little bunny. It's a little the Tuki or whatever. Tuka. Tuka. Yeah. Dear Blind Wave, cross out. Dear Wave Squadron. Yes. Whenever oh. I watch your videos, I get very sad that there's no Tuka doll representation on the shelf behind you. So I've decided to take matters into my own hands and send you one. Aaron, Tuka. place it somewhere. Of course, it had to be Lula. Just because I miss Bad Batch, Tech and Crosshair in particular. I Please take good care of her. Work? Hopefully, I'll s see her enjoying your Star Wars reactions from the back shelf. All the best, Stephanie Joyce. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. That's so nice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I miss Bad Batch. All right, well, now Stephanie, who has seen it be placed, will be able to see it. Long in, in a three man. In every video that has four people. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the very, yeah, in the very oh, corner. Oh, yeah, back there. Okay, that works. Back by me. Mm -hmm. I always love seeing comments. People are like, it's so far back. It is. <laughs> it's very far back. I see the awesome. Here, right? Well, there you go, Stephanie. Thank you so awesome. much. Speaking around. Thank you. We got a book. Another book. It's a Legends book. It is Yoda Dark Rendezvous. Man, we yeah. are... <laughs> We're getting some books that I remember reading two or three times back in the day. I was really, really... I mean, I'm obsessed now, and I've always been obsessed, but... You were hungry? I was really obsessed for more Star Wars then, and unlike today, we didn't get one every week, you know? Sure. So I started consuming the books that they had at the library, and this was one of them. This is a, a Yoda Dooku novel. Yoda Dooku? Uh -huh. Interesting. <laughs> Hi, Blind Wave. Here's one of my personal favorite books. Books from Legends. Love seeing how Yoda and Dooku regard each other and what their past relationship was like. Enjoy! From Josh Williams. Very cool. Thank you so much, Josh. Aha! That is the shot of Yoda after he does the Anakin spin and it comes up to his face uh, while he just killed a clone trooper at the Jedi Temple. Right? Pretty sure that's that one. Stylized. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> you, you judge me and you have a uniform to work. <laughs> uh, thank you, Josh. The gripping you. Clone Wars era adventure featuring a showdown between Grandmaster Yoda and his former apprentice, the sinister Count Duke. Mm -hmm. I, I miss this. They had so much shit back in the day. They had to give you like all this Tables. crazy. Like, <laughs> like here's how you. If you want to see more, here it all is. Good luck. <laughs> Hmm. The Living Force. Whoa. That's a new book. This is cool. Mm -hmm. That one's there's about... Rancius, there's Deva Bilaba, Mace, Bokun, Yaddle. Who's that guy? Um, Ki... Kitty. Kitty? I think it's Kitty Mundy. Oh, oh okay. How old is he? <laughs> I don't know. That's cool. <laughs> No, I heard about this. It is a collection it of short, a collection of short stories about members of the Jedi Council. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Only the Jedi Council, I not so. other. Jedi. I think it's specifically the Jedi Council. I thought I might be wrong. I mean, they are all members of the Council. Mm -hmm. That fucking guy that is just hair and fingernails and it just keeps I think growing. It's Master Rancius. Mm -hmm. He's a snake. Yeah. He's a snake boy. He just looks like hair and fingernails yeah. that keep growing. He's my number one. I would like to see him fight in live action. Please. I want. <laughs> also, <laughs> this poof, yeah. yeah, poof doesn't seem like they would be. He needs <laughs> extremely a, good. He needs a cortosis like collar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Like an African ring. Yeah, yeah. he does. Uh, Hi, Blind Wave. Here's one of my favorite Star Wars books of recent memory. It does an incredible job giving insight into the Jedi Council as a whole. Hope to see it discussed from Josh Williams. Cool. Those, uh, that looks like the uh, episode one council. Yeah. Like I see like there's Yaddle, there's Poof, there's Rancis, mm -hmm. there's uh, Addy Gallia's there. I don't think Addy Gallia's on in there. Yeah, but uh, this, later on, it's this is a, this is a canon book. So eventually, barring death, we will get to it. But who will die first? 
master or the apprentice? I mean, you do have a pointy stick. I don't. See, I should always wear this. That way I always have a... I do! <laughs> <laughs> this is the easy to cut tape. <laughs> that was so funny. I'm just imagining Calvin on like QVC. <laughs> Easy cut tape. God. I wasn't using my finger nail. I was using my finger. And there's already cannot sink this ship. There's already a scar there from having like fucked up my hand before. So there's like a wrinkle in my skin that was getting caught on the threads. Yeah. If I did it with my right hand, Calvin, it just went right I'm through. I'm just saying, it. it doesn't matter what the excuse is. I know. <laughs> it's just so funny that you're like, ah, easy to cut tape. Ow! <laughs> well, it's because you were saying, like, oh, this tape's so much easier to yeah, cut than yeah. the envelope was. Yeah, it's just so funny. They're really that like QVC idea, like, or like the now, pers- now it's locked in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yep. I, I cut myself. Oh, oh I'm, I'm bleeding. The Princess and the Scoundrel. Ooh, that looks like after episode six. It yeah. does. I believe this hmm. one is a tie-in to Galaxy's Edge, uh, that hotel they had for a bit. I believe this is the story right. of conceiving their son. Very I good. want you, Very Han good. stated flatly. Me? She looked around. I want you. Although the base below had been bustling with activity, mm-hmm. this part of the village was remarkably quiet. For what? Forever. Han said. Leia's confusion shifted to something else. Something he couldn't quite read. He never could tell anything going on in her mind, and he loved that about her. He loved her. She was a princess, the face of the rebellion, and the new government's greatest hope. A symbol more than a person, but she was also just Leia. Yeah. And she was his. Han needed her the same way he needed the Falcon. Sure, <laughs> he could fly without her, but what's the point? Uh, the horny alarm's going off. Right? <laughs> Woo! Look what you're doing to Aaron! Stop scowling! <laughs> Man, that book does not slide on this at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's so disappointing. Hey. You push it, like, really hard, and it does not, like, feel it. Dang. I know. Usually, like, boxes, like, just yeah. push. Oh. Like, I have a pretty good, I feel like, feel of, like, that and make it to Eric. You know? Yeah. Like. No, yeah. <laughs> try to get it to oh. me. Man, try to get oh. it to me. We ran out of that card space, I think. Did we? Well, it... Oh, Shut off. over there. Okay. Maybe the uh, camera time. Go check. Oh, Pat. I know why. Not plugged in? <laughs> He's just having a good time with him. I almost want to go look. <laughs> Jake plugged in the power supply, but he didn't plug in the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's funny. When we tell him, he's going to be like, fuck. <laughs> Oh, we oh, can't reach a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> if you put your fingers down, it would touch. It's almost like you're using yeah. the force to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> if he did this, it would have touched. It's like, uh, this, 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 too this, much. This, I can't reach it. It's like that bullshit that people do in movies when they're trying to reach for a gun or a knife or something, and they like hit it with their finger and push it away. You opened that book, didn't you? Yeah. TNA, they had an electrified cage match at one point. Electrified? It was supposed to be electrified. Oh. But like, it just made a sound effect when people hit it. Gotcha. Sure. Sometimes. And then people played off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, people pretended like it was electrified. <laughs> but there was one where like, dude was on the ground, another dude was on top of him, and he was like taking his hand to like reach it to the cage, but like clearly he could reach, so he had to like keep his fingers in. Yeah. <laughs> Bend his wrist down. <laughs> 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 Wait, so it's like me trying to get him to touch that, so he's... Yeah. <laughs> we have Oreos, dark side or light side, open to discover your destiny. I've opened um, three of these, and they've all been light side. And my poop is very green. Funny. <laughs> it looks like blue or blue red. Stuffing? It's like a the blue light side one is all like a blue dyed uh, cream. What do you get if it's... Damn, one serving is two cookies? That's bullshit. That's what I said. So I said, you That's... know what? No, it's not. It's however many in a row. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Red or blue cream with Kyber, Ooh. in quotations, inspired sugar crystals. That's why it's got little balls in it. It's like, you know, crunchy little hard parts. Like gritty stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, man, what's that? Like Pop Rocks? Pop Rocks. <laughs> the shirt is sweet. No one will get it. Mm. The... Not yet. 
the Skabrook World Tour. Oh. They'll get it someday. Yeah, I get it. But not today. I'll never miss the point. Give them 50, 60 years. 50, 60 years? I know what it is now. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe less. That's sweet, though. The limited edition Oreos will finally show us who among you has been seduced by the dark side. So oh. we each got one, so we'll just open, open it and see what's in it. Although I have a good guess from Trina Virage. All right, Trina. Virage. Someone just handed me these. I didn't get yeah. to choose. I didn't choose my I love Fate Oreos. Fate chose for you. I haven't had an Oreo for about four and a, four months. I had an Oreo confection brownie ice cream for lunch today. That's cool. Hell happy. yeah. I'm very happy for it. And the shirt is for Rick. I hope he enjoys it. From Trina Ferrara. All right, well, let's crack these open, see if any of us are Darksiders. One, two, three, stop! <gasps> Wait, is there... Oh, I see. Dark well, side. I guess I don't have to hide it. We're They're all, all Darksiders! Dark side. All Darkside. <laughs> sit, 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 sit! <laughs> sit, Dude, yeah. You haven't done one? This is the fourth one I've opened, and it's Holy the first shit. time it's been red. That's crazy. It's all red. We always got the golden ticket. Yeah, now, maybe go. I bought all three at the same place at the same uh, time. Maybe. So maybe, maybe like, yeah. the way they're stacked together, you know, they're not mixed up. This could be a similar situation, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, I opened my call. Oh my gosh, I got red. And then, oh, oh, yeah, and I don't feel like it's a special. I they only have, cracked it open because I was. They have Kyber inspired sugar crystals. Yeah, I thought they were Pop Rocks. Yeah. It's in the cream. No. In the cream? No. Uh, Eric here, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take the risk. This is for your friends, you. and I care about you. Thank mm-hmm. you, my friend. I care about you too. Thank you. Thank you, Trina. Wait. I care about you, too. Thank Wait, I care you. about all of you. Look at the burden he's carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Seth! I might not be back for a little bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, right, Should I have chocolate over your face? Yeah. <laughs> that would be great if you, ah. <laughs> you just had the, the red cream like <laughs> all over your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most amazing things I've ever seen in my life. Is it? Well, share it with us, asshole. I want to share it with Rick. I haven't seen it. What is it? Uh, Lost. It might be. Ah, yes! Ha <laughs> Oh, okay. Now oh, we can make phone calls. It is a snail phone. <laughs> what? You guys might know. Uh, I'm going to do what you did and kind of feel good about it. You guys might know in a couple years. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Look. Yep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so great. Uh, it's in one piece. Yeah. To Eric, because I always enjoy how you react when the transponder snails are on screen. You can hug this during the emotional scenes, because there will be a lot more for sure. By the way, I was the one who sent the One Piece map from Cat. Oh. Thank, Thank you, Cat. That map was amazing. Yes. And this is also amazing. You know what this reminds me of? Nice noodle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah, I was going to do Especially something with the lips. like, yeah. oh, zero. Yeah, like, have that? <laughs> yeah sure. No, I, this is, I, I, I know you guys don't get the context, but I also didn't have the context, and unabashedly, this was on screen. And Rick's like, what? <laughs> I'm like, there's a snail, it's a phone. He's like, yeah. I'm like, this is one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my life. Why? <laughs> All right, and that's why One Piece is special. You've only scratched the surface of snail technology. I get it. I understand. I am incredibly happy there is so much joy to when, discover. When Rick <laughs> took this out and looked at it and goes, now we can make a phone call, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought you were going to tell one of your friends that you finally have one. <laughs> like, they're hard to get or something. Oh, man. Man. Hello. Hello! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> no, like the little the yeah. thing that you put the receiver on uh, old phones, yeah, how they yeah, like yeah. tap the That I makes know, sense. That's great. Oh, this is fantastic too. Might put that back there somewhere. It'll ring during reaction. I'm glad I had Eric open that one. Yeah. So that opened and been like, what the fuck? <laughs> that would have been, been pretty good. That would have been pretty good too. Though. 
What the hell is this? Easy cut tape. <laughs> <laughs> he cut through it over here, and then it was so still together, he had to rip it somewhere else. <laughs> Gift wrapped. Mm -hmm. It's a surprise. Uh. Oh, man. Surprise. It'd be great if there was a... Ooh, whoa. Whoa, is that a... That's an awesome figure. Is it, is, is it, it open? Opens! Ooh. To what? I don't know. I don't want it to spill out. I thought it was contained. Enjoy this rare... Whoa. He 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 ...figure from Kristen. Oh. He's got Whoa. real, like, cloth clothes. I love cloth clothes. Cloths. Cloths. Cloth. <laughs> yeah, show it. I don't want to take it out. It's real cool. That's, That's real sweet. Cool. Love it. Man. And there's, like, a holographic. It's number 599 of 1500. Wow. Awesome. And just a fantastic box. Okay. Yes. Isn't that cool? Holographic. UU001. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. Me I'm going to assume Kristen. I'm going to guess that as well. Yeah. It's like it's in Carbonite. <laughs> yep. Carbonite. I love that we live in a day and age where toys are given such respect. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It's crazy, right? Uh. Oh. Type of paper? There you go, Calvin. Yeah. The last one. The good is it's not me. It's a lot of tape. Well, it's easy, cut. Oh, easy take. 145 whiteness. That's what they call it counting. About half. <laughs> the scale goes up to 100. <laughs> okay. okay. Part one, read this first. All right. All right. Dear Blind Wave, like it has been a while since I've sent you guys some stuff from a few years ago. Uh, go ahead and open what's in the bags that I've given to you all. This is for me. We're opening them. Rick, and me, and Aaron. Okay. So, straightforward and simple. I've given you some cool chef based on what I believe are the right fits for which Disney movies you would fit in the most. Oh, Hopefully okay. in the sizes for all four of you. If not, whoops. Damn, Aaron. I untied this without looking. <laughs> you had the nice thing. I did. Ooh. Okay. Oh. This is so cool. Look at this Chippendale Rescue Rangers jersey. <laughs> it's <is> amazing. <laughs> it's Dale. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, so I have Ooh. an underworld... Hades. 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 Nice. That's, that's sweet. This is real cool. Lost Boys. We got Lost Boys. Oh, Pan. That's Pan. cool. That's great. I'm usually the Disney Lost stuff. <laughs> Cusco. 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 Yes. Yeah. Cusco Topia. Oh my gosh. That's sweet. This is a, this shirt is pretty amazing too. There's I got. A, a llama. You ain't never had a friend like me. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> genie Ow. shirt. That genie shirt's great. Aaron, yours, you got one too. This is cool. a genie shirt as well. Well. <laughs> I'm, I'm surrounded, surrounded by idiots. By idiots. <laughs> Why you get that one? <laughs> I'm Come on. No touchy. Idiots. No touchy. Those are, these are great shirts. It's accurate. Um, yep. but this, uh, I don't even know what style this is meant to be. I mean, it's a jersey, right? But this jersey is... His button's in the front. Though. Akuna Matata. Oh, man, you got another one. Oh, that's a like wonderful a wonderful oh, Man, that one's... Yeah, that one's got a really cool, like, fossil, African man. look to it. Yeah, it does. Yeah, those are some great. Just something about colors. the stripes look like really. A, cool. I love yeah. the pride rock. Shoot. Uh, There's a specific flag that has like the yellow yeah. and brown and green. Get me like the... I love, I dude, the sleeve too. Look at the sleeve on us. I wonder if it's fifty three because that's what year it came out. Look, come on. for Peter Pan. That's My nice. two thousand. That came out that's around two thousand. Probably close. We Ninety seven so. for for. Uh, um, Sounds about right. Yeah. Probably about right. Yeah. Thank Eric, what were your numbers on yours? Uh, I have 89 for Rescue Rangers. That's about right. And I have 90, I'm going to guess it's 94. 94. 94. <laughs> 94 for uh, Lion, Lion King, King, which is when that came out. I think those yeah. all sound about like the years they come yeah. out. I think Chip and Dale's was probably 89. Was it? Yeah, for the, the cartoon, like the original series. Like Rescue Rangers? Right, yeah. Hmm. Chip, 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 chip and Dale. Well, it came out on the NES. Rescue Rangers. So it would have had to have been... 
I want the movie. I want the show. Which it ran from eighty nine to ninety. Yeah. Cool, As though. you can tell, Disney is one of my favorite things growing up. Helped me get through all the ups and downs for so many years. And although the one hundredth anniversary has come and gone, which was great, yep. it wasn't successful due to their box office performances that mm, year. Yeah, sure. However, there was one project from them last year that I hope you've all watched, and it's called Once Upon a Studio. It's an amazing love letter to all Disney fans, including myself. I heard about it, yeah. Uh, I loved it so much that I've rewatched it like a hundred times. Cool. I'll leave it at that if you all haven't seen uh, this short yet. Uh, if you all have, go ahead and open what's on the cardboards. If not, please watch the short first before opening it. It's less than ten minutes long, and I hope you all enjoy this as much as I did. But just in case, I've given each of you some sheets to answer some questions about answer some questions about I've been wondering since I started checking out your channel. Go ahead and read part two. I have seen uh, the, the short film, Once Upon a Studio. I have not. I have not either. Uh, it's cool. It has a really nice uh, Walt Disney, like the man himself thing that goes with Mickey. I really like hmm. it. All right. We each have a part. Views. Eric. Yes, sir. This is your part. Part two. Eric. Eric. Me. For one and first. Aaron. I just read, ah. just finished part one first. Gotcha. I have, to, I have to read part one first. Were you not listening? Which of the following Disney movies have you ever seen? I filled out the boxes with yes, already based on your content and conversations. My mistake <laughs> if I got some of them wrong. Uh -huh. but at least one of you has watched a movie from the list. You're all clear. Go ahead and watch Once Upon a Studio. Good luck. Gotcha. Oh, that's really nice of you to, uh, to be able to do that. That's cool. Gotcha. So do you guys all have a, like a checkbox thingy like this? Yes. Mm -hmm. We all have the same thing. I don't know if I've seen Sword in the Stone. I have. Like, I know I've seen parts of it. There's parts I remember as a kid. I don't know if I've watched it. seen. Mary Poppins, The Rest of Cats. No. I've mm -hmm. not seen Bed Nuts and Broomsticks. No. Robin Hood. No, I've seen that. The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I think I've seen that. Winter Rescuers. Man. I only have seen Pete's Dragon. I've seen Fox and the Hound. I haven't seen Black Cauldron. I've seen Great Mouse Tech. All of our company, Little Mermaid, Rescues Down Under, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, Lion King, Pocahontas, Hunchback and Jump, Hercules, Mulan, Tarzan. I've seen all those. That was in my era. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Fantasia 2000. Dinosaur is kind of a half and half. I've seen it because of my kids. Yeah. Emperor's New Groove was 2000, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. I've not seen Atlantis. Lilo and Stitch. I haven't seen Treasure Planet. I haven't seen Brother Bear. I haven't seen Home on the Range. I've seen Chicken Little, Meet the Robinsons, Bolt. I haven't seen Prince and the Frog. Tangled, I haven't seen Winnie the Pooh, Wreck-It Ralph, I've seen Zootopia, Frozen 2. I have actually not seen Big Hero 6. Raya. I think there's only three I haven't seen until you get to 2003, and then I drop off quite a bit. Sure. See, I, I go through where I've seen them all, I've not seen some, and then I've seen them all, <laughs> which yeah. I think is me watching Disney, Yeah. I'm not, I don't watch Disney, I have kids that watch Disney. Yeah. Yeah, Avi's not super into Disney, so I haven't watched most of the recent Ooh, yeah, stuff. Yeah, I fall off hard. I don't even own a pen anymore, Eric. Are you actually checking them off? Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're right about a lot of them. Just missed a couple in the beginning that I've seen. I'm sure at some point I've done the... From Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Roger Miller. Yeah, very cool. Man, those mm -hmm. Cinderella shirts and houses are so cool. Dang, that's not the one I wanted. Go on. Mark the wrong one. Time. And more and more of it's hitting public domain. That is very true. There is a segment of this in the older ones, like Saludos Amigos, mm -hmm. The Three Caballeros, yeah. Make Mine Music, Funny and Fancy Free, Melody Time, Ichabod and Mr. Toad. Like, I haven't seen any of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm but then I've seen Cinderella, Island. Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. Seen that like one. That one. Seen that one's in that all one. those you mentioned, but make mine music and fun and fancy free. I think I've seen the others. I don't know if I've seen Fantasia or Fantasia yeah. 2000. Definitely seen. Fantasia. I get what you mean. I think I've seen the original. I know I've seen Fantasia. one, but I don't, I don't know which one it is. I don't know what the difference is. I don't know the difference is. And sometimes I've played like Kingdom Hearts, so like I know the story. Maybe I haven't seen. It. Mm, yeah. Okay. I get you. Because they also a lot of those follow the same kind of story mm -hmm. beats. They might have Rose cut Stitch. parts out of Fantasia. I'm not sure if they cut parts out or if they put like the disclaimer saying like, this was from a different time. 
Yeah, maybe. It is funny that I get all the way up to 99, and that's when I start watching like Star Wars and other things. Wow. And I, I watch, I don't watch many Disney movies anymore. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen any of these. <laughs> wow. There were several in the like 50s to 90s that I had yeah. seen. We should go on Letterbox and Disney and just like make sure we yeah. check out ours and then the, mm-hmm. the group. Mm. But, yeah. yeah, of just Disney the movies. Ones. They wrote that I've seen good. Tangled, but I don't think I've seen Tangled. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen Frozen Big, Big Hero 6, and I have not seen Moana, so they have that on there. Moana? Yeah. Oh, I awesome. am Moana. I haven't seen that. All right. Don't open this until you've all watched uh, Once Upon a Studio. First, please, thanks. Austin, hashtag it was me. <laughs> it was me. It was me, it was me Austin. <laughs> All right. We'll All right. Put this away until we've watched that. Uh, it's only ten minutes, you said, Eric. That's what that's what the said. note said. Yeah. I have to watch it at some point. Yeah. How about we do to this watch it until you watch all these other things? I think as long as we've seen at least one of them, mm-hmm. it is to us, right? I'll tell you what, though, these jerseys are quite cool. They are quite cool. Uh, we can't do it right now, but maybe we'll try to do. Uh, maybe we'll try to do uh, either a recording yeah, or just have us watch it. Yeah, I mean, that'd be cool. But that would be cool. Not as part of the mailbag right now. Sure. We do have a schedule we got to stick to. But thank you so much. And legitimately, those t-shirts and jersey things are, are so cool. They're yeah, very cool. I really like that underworld one, the Hades one. Yeah, that's really cool. <coughs> thank you everything. so much. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much, Austin. Austin, it was you. It was you. This shirt's so soft. Feel. Ooh, yeah, it is. Yeah. I didn't know that was Jim Cummings that sang that song. He does the voice of Scar for the singing part, I believe. Yes, yeah. but not for the speaking part. I learned that from Jim yeah, Cummings. It's, yeah, it's Jeremy Irons for the, sleep, the speaking part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they did have Jeremy Irons sing it. Yeah, yeah I heard that, that version. Thing, and it was pretty good. So that he could do the inflection yeah. of it. But, yeah, he couldn't, mm-hmm. couldn't hit the notes or something. Oh, I don't, I don't know. They had a thing back then where the sure. they would they would cast someone for the singing so they could do the songs way early. Sure. That, but Did I, you know that uh, the voice actor for Tarzan could not do the Tarzan yodel? Really? The oh! I figured that would be like. The do you one. know who was? Who? Brian Blessed, the voice of. Really? Yeah. Uh, he's a uh, boss nas. Yep. Oh, boss nas. Yeah. Yeah. He did the voice of the the fucking yodels. English colonial guy. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember his name. I, I can't remember his yeah. name. Colonial guy. He was the, the bad guy. Yeah. The Clayton? Clayton. 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 Yeah. Clayton is the name. And that's an English colonial guy. I have name. a friend, uh, Wayne, who has a friend named Clayton. And every time he says Clayton, I go, <laughs> like, in Discord. I still don't know if he understands why or if he gets it, but I do it every time he mentions Clayton. You threatened me. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. All right. Well, thank you so much. What a great gift. Uh, we will try to do our part on uh, on finishing it up because yes. there is more. Mm-hmm. But as you said, we can't do it yet. So, a f- is this a first in mailbag history? A cliffhanger to be continued? No, we've had gifts. We have Naruto we- things we still got to open. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. And we've had gifts that we've given to like spouses and friends and we've stuff. We've been doing open. We've been doing this for. Eight years. There's little. That's the first time, I guess. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. But thanks to everybody who uh, contributed today and yes. in those last eight years. And thank you for Smack. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching Mailbag with us. If you uh, enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. We have content coming out every day of the week. And uh, we have WaveCon coming up in uh, August, very beginning of August. So if you haven't gotten your tickets, time is running short. So make sure you check out blindweb.com and get your tickets right now or find your merch over there, too. All available at blindwood.com.